Hi guys, uh, it's Carlos Rosario here uh, with the Craig's Tube Method and I'm here interviewing one of my uh, prospects, uh, Paul Alone, the owner of Accessible Fitness. He was one of the people that I had reached out to and I had made one of these ads for. Uh, I wanted to see if he wouldn't mind giving me a, an interview, which he agreed to. Uh, after I reached out to him, he made a donation and this is the result of that uh, reaching out to him. So I'm going to prove to you guys that you can do this. Uh, so, uh, Paul, with that being said, thank you for doing this interview with me. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind, just please introducing yourself, uh, where you guys work, and how people can get a hold of you. Okay, thank you, Carlos. My name is Paul Lone, and I'm the owner of Accessible Fitness. The gym is located at 2450 Scott Boulevard, number 302 in Santa Clara. Our website address is accessiblefitness.com. At Accessible Fitness, we specialize in weight loss, we have exercise classes, and our gym is also one of the only wheelchair accessible gyms around. Um, Paul, how long have you guys been in business? We've been in business since 2001. Okay, right on. Um, what, uh, if, if you could kind of uh, pinpoint, what's the one service product or service or product that you guys provide that you can, that you can do better than anyone else? In other words, why would, uh, why should someone work with you versus a competitor in your field? Well, I would say that's personal training and help, helping people to get fit. And the reason why we, we're, we do really well at it is because of my experience, first of all, with bodybuilding. As a competitive bodybuilding builder, uh, winning the Mr. America when I was 25, and then um, shortly after that getting diagnosed with MS, which made me realize there was a need for a wheelchair accessible gym. So we opened up a gym that caters to everyone in 2000, in 2001, that's Accessible Fitness. Right on, okay, well, Mr. America. Ah, right, so what do you think is an important ingredient to have a long-term successful business? Well, I think the most important ingredient would be your relationship with your clients and always, always continuously building on that relationship through emails and newsletters and just constant contact with those people. Always always be reaching out to your clients. Um, if, if you don't mind me asking, why'd you decide to work with me? Well, pretty friendly guy when I first, well, well you're still friendly. You know, <laughs> but, when we first met? <laughs> but you came across and you didn't say, okay, this is how much everything costs. Right, when you met me, a lot of people, that's what they'll say is this is, and they'll want, X amount of money for the services. Instead, you gave me a lot of free information that I've been using on YouTube that has been helping me, and you didn't charge me anything for it. So that helped with building the trust, is what I'm hearing. In other yes. words, that's yes. correct. Okay. Um, and uh, do you believe in advertising? And oh yeah, for sure. Uh, if uh, if if you uh, could give some guidance, as what, what do you think is probably a smart number as far as a, a percentage of gross sales that a business should be spending? I would their, say their, investing in their advertising in his at or her least business? eight to ten percent. Eight to ten percent. Yes. So for every dollar they make, you should be giving kicking back at least eight to ten cents back like to marketing. Uh, important caveat, guys. I only like to work with people that understand the importance of marketing their businesses. So you should be investing. You can reach out to people that understand the importance of marketing their businesses. Um, what did you like about the ad that I designed for you? Well, that ad was really great because I've never seen anything on Craigslist like it because, like I said, I thought it was a flasher, but it's not a, you told me it's not a flash ad. No. Um, just because it moves and I've never seen any moving ads like that on Craigslist. So it separated me from my competitors and that's really what I needed to do. Right on. Um, how much would you suppose an ad like that might be worth? Well, I would think an ad like that would be anywhere from 600 to to 1000 dollars Right on. Okay. Well, it gives you an idea, guys, of how much those things are perceived as perceived values. Um, so, now that you uh, have uh, spoken with me, uh, you know, and as far as just relationships and working with people that you either help or and or come in off the street to try and help you, so to speak. What do you think, uh, you, you know, what are you looking for from a person or a business that claims that they can help you somehow with your business? Uh, and is that in line with how you treat your customers? Like, is it the same philosophy? Or do you so, think those are two different things? When a person comes in and they want to help me with my marketing, 
first thing I want to do is find out about that person. So I'll do reviews on them and try to find as much as I can and also want to find out what they've done looking at other um, projects and other uh, people that they've helped improve their business. So it's important, so it's important in other words, for them to have proof to show that they can do what they're claiming that they can do, right, with somebody yes. else. So build your proof, guys. This is why it's important, because at the same time that you're sending these, these things out, you're also building your proof, so you should work on that. Um, and uh, if you don't mind me asking, I, I, I suspect it's a di little different than what you're used to, but how, what types of uh, uh, sales calls do you get on a regular basis? Like, what do um, people claim that they could do for you? And, and well, you know, the search engine optimization, that's been, they always call me on that one. To the first page of Google? And um, sometimes I tell them, well, I'm already there. They don't even check. Right. I'm already <laughs> in the first page. Have you even done a search right, on me? Right, right. And, um, well, I can get you first page everywhere, not just Santa Clara, but I've tried with some of them and a lot of people have not been able to improve my search engine Never. optimization for me. But, um, I'm still um, looking, you know, for people to always help me with my marketing, and I know marketing is a never-ending um, job in okay. any business. Mm -hmm. um, so after meeting me, if uh, if there is any reason, what is a possible reason you might recommend someone work with me, or or not? Well, for one thing, I've seen the, the jobs that you've done, and I'm been impressed. I've also been impressed with what you've done for me and the things that you've even given to me, the free information that you've shared with me, the book that you gave me that has a lot of great information in it that I'm just gonna start reading as much of it as I can since you just gave it to me. But a lot of um, good things you've given me um, without even charging me. It's all about trust, guys. Uh, that's what I always try, the, the, the more service you give, uh, the more I believe you'll get what you're after. So always come from a, from a good faith vantage point is what I try to do. Always get good value, always come with intending to help the other one. Um, so what, what's the uh, one major problem in business that might keep a business owner like, your, like yourself up at night? Well, thinking about where the next client is going to come from and what type of marketing you need to do to bring in the next client. It's always, it's always something to think about, guys. It's what we all should be uh, striving for. It's been my opinion, like I shared with you, Paul. The one ingredient, I think, in any business that a lot of people lose sight of is not the, the actual thing that you're doing, but it's actually the getting of the clients and catering to them that matters most. How, you know, how can we find them? How do we get them? How do we keep them? <laughs> uh, what's one activity or thing a business owner might do to ensure his or her success and that the doors will remain open tomorrow? Well. Always constantly remember to build your relationship with your clients um, through emails, through uh, newsletters, through anything that can keep you in contact with them even after they're done using your service. Still stay in touch with them. So it's, it's smart from not only just finding, you know, getting the people to find you, but once they've found you, you should cultivate them. I, that's probably something that a lot of business owners are lacking. There. That's probably why a lot of doors are closing these days. Um, and uh, Paul, I just uh, just out of curiosity, I, I have a theory here, but uh, are you a big reader? Yes. What type of books, if any, well, do you read? I like the self-help books too, but um, I like the older ones too, like Napoleon Hill and uh, Thinking Grow Rich. Um, that one, like I said, I read that one. Sometimes I read it every couple years, I'll pick it up again, I'm like, hmm. I miss this part, or right. it just seems when I read it uh, the next time, I pick up new things from it each time. Yeah, so I agree. I like a lot of the older books like that. Well, Paul, thank you so much. I don't want to make this too long-winded. Uh, thank you for doing this interview. Thank you so much for working with me. Uh, and one more time, how can people get a hold of you? What's the uh, address? It should be floating around here somewhere by the time this video is made. Yeah, about. and the address is 2450 Scott Boulevard, Suite 302. The gym name is called Accessible Fitness. And our website is AccessibleFitness.com. Paul, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Thank you, Carlos. And you guys can do it. You uh, just go out there and do it because you see these people are real. Uh, they are looking for help, but if you can show them that you're, you're, you're not coming with your hands saying, please give me, instead you're giving them something of value first, I think you'll find a lot easier uh, to building that bridge of trust and being able to work with them. Thank you, guys.